Hi, my name is Celeste Gibson. I'm a biology major and French minor pre-med at the University of Arkansas. And today I did my research project on On the Warpath by Cyrus Edwin Dolan at Crystal Bridges in Bentonville, Arkansas. This sculpture in the round is found in the colonial to early 19th century gallery. Cyrus Edwin Dolan, born November 22, 1861 in Springville, Utah, showed artistic promise at a young age. His upbringings in Utah and parents Thomas and Jane Dolan exposed Cyrus to a life of the Mormon faith in a pioneer setting. Constantly immersed in Native American culture of the Ute and Paiute tribes, Dolan drew inspiration from his youth for his works to come. While studying under Michael Chapeau and Jean Damp in Paris in 1889, Dolan attended a Buffalo Bill Wild West show. Interestingly enough, Dolan was more intrigued by the Native American dress and customs than he was with the Western Cowboys. Inspired by his youth and his experiences in Paris, Dolan began sculpting figures of Native Americans and patriotic cowboys, an unusual subject at the time. Opposed from his On the Warpath sculpture, Dolan is well known for similar sculptures such as the Scout, Massawat, and Passing of the Buffalo. On the Warpath constitute as a representational sculpture in the round. The figure of both the Native American warrior and his horse are naturalistic because although the two appear robust, the figures hold realistic traits such as body fat. Dolan uses organic shapes and realistic space and form to further the naturalistic aspect of the sculpture. Dolan creates fairly accurate texture throughout the piece. However, the smooth texture of the horse's pelt strays from the naturalism of the work. The sculpture is a single hue, bronze. Therefore, the intensity and value of the piece remains consistent throughout the sculpture. Dolan creates a sense of balance and harmony the way he positioned the proportional man upon the proportional horse. Jacques Derrida believes art tells a story with multiple interpretable meanings. Analyzing on the warpath using the deconstruction methodology, one can first question assumptions made about the piece, and one can analyze the piece with a Western binary pairing eye. Given that Dolan grew up in Utah, constantly surrounded by Native American people and culture, one could postulate that he sculpted on the warpath from memory of his youth. However, there is no evidence to prove that he did not sculpt this from a live model or photograph. Furthermore, analyzing the Native American man's position, one could speculate that the warrior glances back at the war in which he came from. A counter-argument would state that the warrior looks back at his troops before heading into war. The deconstruction methodology ponders the premier assumptions made about the artwork and assumes binary pairing. Westerners hold the tendency to assume what is absent by what is present. In On the Warpath, Dolan sculpts a Native American male warrior. In a Western mindset, one might ponder about a cowboy. Furthermore, the Native American being male may evoke questions about the female's whereabouts. The fact that the Native American looks right, the analyzing eye might wonder about where he looks. The deconstruction methodology allows the viewer to analyze assumptions made about the artwork at first glance, as well as what is absent in the frame of the artwork. Although the early 20th century brought the popularity of styles such as Picasso, Fauvism, Expressionism, and Matisse, Cyrus Edwin Dolan did not conform to these modern styles of artwork. Dolan's style, unusual for the century, mirrored that of 19th century French and American realism. Placed in the colonial to early 19th century gallery at Crystal Bridges, On the Warpath was finished in 1914 and represents one of the newest 19th century realism pieces in the exhibit. This specific piece was not the only piece of Dolan's that strayed from the popular art movement of the 20th century. Dolan devoted much of his life to sculpting similar pieces, acquiring a total of 250 known realistic sculptures. The realistic period succeeded the romantic period. While the romantic period focused on perfect figures and idealized landscape, the realistic period drew inspiration from the Enlightenment and explored the organic nature of the human species. In On the Warpath, the transition from Romanticism is shown by Dolan's use of realistic proportions, realistic musculature, and even the presence of some fat around the midriff on the Native American man. On the Warpath similarly does not follow the early 20th century canon, which introduced abstract art. Dolan's piece does not contain any aspect of abstractness about it. The sculpture demonstrates realism through the detail of the braided hair on the Native American man and the proportionate detail of the anatomy of the human and the horse.